Hello. Hello. Hey, you're listening to a, a special kind of live taping of uh, Doonstone Redemption. Uh, it's two thirds of us. Eric and I just watched Apocalypse Now. That's on his uh, top 100 films to watch poster deal project that we're working on here. And we thought we would, uh, since we were discussing it, we'd go ahead and record it and throw it out there for folks and and uh, let them hear what mindless crap we had to say about it. And if you haven't seen it yet on our on on my bio page, uh, for Christmas I got one that top one hundred movies bucket list, and uh, uh, I've got about seventy of the movies watched. Um, so I'm scratching them off. Uh, both uh, Russell and Othi are going to also put up what they've watched off of it, and we're going to scratch them off, talk about it. So. Uh, I had never, this is my first venture into Apocalypse Now, never had watched a second of the movie. Always knew the lines, you know, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Absolutely, a lot you of know. famous lines out of this one. So, I, 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 I'd seen, but this was my first go at it, and uh, I, Russell and I were just talking that it's going to be a lot of thinking moving forward, um, that yeah, I, things I'd never thought about, so... Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk politics. We're just gonna talk the movie here for a few minutes. So yeah, I don't feel that we personally have the right to have uh, a lot of strong opinions on the Vietnam War one way or the other because that was our parents' generation that lived through that and um, you know were there uh, on on both sides of of the conflict on that you know uh, on on the peace demonstrations and the war itself and. And so that's their thing. So we're not going to try to, uh, you know, have some kind of strong opinion on that. But um, and not get too political here. We're just going to kind of more focus on the film as a film. So I, you know, I'd, I'd always known Martin Sheen as a legend, but I couldn't ever tell you anything that he had been in. Yeah. And so you know, I see why um, watching this movie, why he is, you know, regarded as one of the one of the best. So uh, I thought he was fantastic in the movie. I couldn't understand a damn word Marlon Brando said. You know, he's the uh, uh, Bob Dylan of of doing his movie lines. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what what are you saying? Yeah. Can well, you I, I, I think that's kind of... I've seen it, I don't know, probably 50 times. Because it's one of those films that every time it's on television, I'm going to watch it. Like, it t- comes on Turner Classic all Does the it? time. Okay. They suck me in. They'll show that thing at like 11.30... At night, next thing you know, it's two in the morning. I gotta go to work tomorrow, <laughs> but I'm watching Apocalypse Now again, yet again. No. You know, because you see new things in it every time that you didn't see before, and I, I really got a sense that you know Brando was famous for being a method actor. Um, I I think a lot of the stuff that he says in the film, a, a lot of the the monologues that he does are really just he showed up on film and started saying that stuff rambling on yeah they and they were supposed to wrap it up within like six months of filming and i i think um i read somewhere that they were actually in the jungle filming for over 11 months shame and christmas and it was beautiful in in the sheet the scenes and the uh cinematography seeing uh that land and and um you know when they're in the boat and they're Going under the wrecked plane, I thought. I yeah, mean, that I mean, was it's really well shot. It it's a masterpiece. It just it truly is a masterpiece because it's one of those films that even if you watch it four or five times, you're gonna think about it for the next couple of days right. after you watch it. Right, and it just slowly uh, slowly shows how war itself is just a descent into madness. Yeah. It's kind of like I was I was alluding earlier that it's almost like Lord of the Rings where they're trying to get to Mordor and uh so you've got to go through all these yeah. steps and it's like each place they pass on that river is more messed up than the place they were before. My struggle is with movies is I want to get to the point. I I'm a product of my generation that I I I don't two and a half hours is too long to tell a story. Um so that is my struggle, but I, I understand where you're getting to. Each stage, you're getting a little bit crazier and a little. You know, if you went straight to the end, you'd go, "What the hell's this?" And you'd you know hightail it out of there. Yeah. But as you're progressively getting crazier and crazier throughout the movie, I, I get I get why the storytelling well, and, and, is important. And the way that he's learning, we're learning more about the colonel that he's going to assassinate as he's going down the river. You know, and and by the time they get there, 
he's not even sure what he's going to do anymore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, do I admire this guy or should I kill this guy? Right. Right. You know, so it's a, uh, yeah. And man, I love a slow burner though. I mean, as yeah, long I know as you it's do. going somewhere, I know you do. as long as it's going somewhere, but if it's building tension and it still has some direction, now, I don't like films that just linger right. for the sake of lingering because right. the guy couldn't, decide to edit anything and i think that that happens so much with movies that uh, you become jaded and you go anything that this long it's just it, it meandering it's not really going any place yeah i don't say that i was i was engaged throughout the movie so i i agree with you it just sometimes it's like you could have cut 30 seconds out of this scene <laughs> you know to save save 15 or 20 minutes in the movie you know the the one thing that I was saying to Russ about the movie was at the end there is a there's a piece about why I don't understand why it ended the way it did because uh, Martin Sheen's character what's next for him uh, how does he you know he's already tried to go back to civilization one time mm-hmm. and couldn't do it um, and he's obviously struggling at the beginning of the movie is this his you know at the end is he okay. There is sheer madness. It's time for me to go home, or is this a suicide story? At the end, does he go home and and kill himself? Well, we we don't know. Um, yeah, you're just not going to find that out, <laughs> right? But I I think in the end it was uh, he was either going to choose madness or not, right? And he and he chose to walk away from madness because he could have been the leader of that. Mm-hmm. group of crazy people mm-hmm. in the jungle that was following Kurtz. I mean, they all, the second he came out of that uh, temple after he killed Kurtz, they all bowed down to him. He was their new leader. Yeah. You know, and he was like, no, I'm going to grab this crazy kid that I drug up here with me, and we're going somewhere. Well, Creed and Bratton said, you know, there's more money in being a leader of a cult than a follower. Yeah. So, you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, you know, but... Yeah, it was a it, it was definitely a movie that I will I will think about um and I I don't know. I you know, I we continue I guess that's what movies are supposed to do is yeah. engage conversation. Well, and that's when you know it is a fantastic film. You know, the ones that you I'm walk away from. I'm not ready to from, give it that, but uh, we'll Yeah, we'll Eric, see. Eric so, so, yeah. I reserve, I hate everything you guys know, so I reserve judgment <laughs> to come back and hate it later. If he's I still trying to, to decide whether he liked this film yeah, or not. Yeah. I was like, did you like that film? And he's like, I'm not so sure. Yeah, you know, I I, <laughs> I, I look at my haircut for days afterwards and go, "Did I do I like what I got or not? <laughs> so, you know, that's just the yeah. nature of who I am, so... I think that's it. I think I'm not on the a, fence about it at all. You I, love I it. think I it's know. a damn masterpiece. I know you do. Yeah. And I'm not saying, like I said, any movie that keeps me engaged. Yeah. I'm not mad about the film, but I'm also not like, oh, it's yeah. my favorite. But I also like Happy Ending. You know that. <laughs> yes, that's true. That is. I don't um, think I don't think there was a happy ending for anybody in this no, film. Or or no matter Viet- what. Or happened. in the Vietnam War. Well, yeah. I mean, Because <laughs> like you were saying, even after he went home... Things didn't go well right. for a long time. Right. So, yeah, well, that's, um, but that's our take on Apocalypse Now. Uh, we'll have to make sure that Othi watches it sometime soon and can get his, uh, get his comments thrown out there as well. And Russell and I on March the 12th are going to see In Bruges. In Bruges. In Bruges. Yes, at the uh, library, Joe. East Hills Library. Uh, they have a Tuesday night kind of film show on there, Bob Schultz. Is uh, the guy who runs that? Uh, I I could go um, listen to him talk about the film and then leave. Uh, okay, he's that good. I I'm re- gonna stay for the I, film. I know, I know. But most but. of the films, <laughs> most of the films that I go and see, there I've seen before anyway. Uh-huh. It's kind of a refresher on them. But I like uh, what I'm telling people is come early, make sure you're there early, and listen to what Bob has to say about the film. Uh huh. Um, yeah, he's he's just so knowledgeable. He should be working for Turner Classics. I really think he should be he she should be introducing films for Turner Classics. Nice. So, well, and uh, I think that uh, I I may reserve watching um, a Clockwork Orange till the mm-hmm. next time you come over. Or yeah, that'll be like fun. That, so. that that's an interesting one. I just saw that one again a couple months ago at the library. Gotcha. Yeah, and so that's that's definitely a, a head scratcher and. 
We could not watch those back to back tonight. <laughs> I know, and then insane, do anything huh? anything logical without them, <laughs> with them at all. There's no way. Well, check out uh, um, uh, my bio page and see uh, the movies I've watched. Uh, if anybody's paying attention, make a little comment on there to what I should watch next, or me and Russell or and Othi should watch next on there, and then those these guys will be getting their list together soon and uh you can see what they've seen so there's only five on the poster that i have